Balboa here, and this is going to be an update video. I know I haven't done one in a while, I've just been, been very busy. And I'm just going to let you know how everything's been, because I've been a little busy with a lot of things. Uh, for one, all of the videos that I've been posting were actually filmed when I went to see my grandparents during Christmas. So if you guys are sick to death of other Hess videos, I completely understand. There's I still have two or three more, and on the last one, I actually figured out how to get a smooth transition from my theme song to my videos. So there's that, and that has turned out wonderful. Absolutely wonderful, because now it sounds good. Instead of just being a weird cutoff, it flows. So I'm really glad about that. That's really good. So uh, there's that. Um, just wanted to let you guys know. And yeah, I know a couple people have been actually a little mad at me for only doing those. I've just been very busy. But when I finish that, I can actually start filming new stuff. And I have a lot of really cool stuff planned. For one, uh, I have a few figures that I really want to review. Uh, Marvel Universe Beast and Marvel Universe Hulk. I also I have planned to review uh, Marvel Universe Falcon. I also plan to review the Marvel Universe Falcon and Captain America 2 pack. Now that's one that my dad really likes so much that he actually bought it himself. My dad does not collect through and through Gordon's figures. He collects Migos. So it shows how good of a two pack that is. And unfortunately, my Captain America has a lot of issues, which is a pretty big issue. But, um, yeah, I bought it mostly for the Falcon. Not gonna lie. Uh, well, my dad, I wanted it for the Falcon. My dad bought it. <laughs> but my dad loves the old school 70s look when he was a kid. It's his favorite style of comics ever. I mean, ever. He loves it. It's awesome. But anyway, so there's that. I plan to review those soon. Uh, probably in a week or two. Also, I'm filming this the day of the Super Bowl. And I thought Super Bowl was really good. Uh, I was surprised that the Ravens had such a big lead. Because, you know, the 49ers. I'm really shocked. And then they started catching up. So, pretty good. I, I definitely liked it. It was a really good Super Bowl on the halftime. Wow. <laughs> that was good. The uh, halftime was just amazing. Really good halftime. Better than last year. Uh, so there's that. Um, a lot of people have been asking me about my second YouTube channel. And... Yeah. Uh, there's a really big issue with that. I've been getting a lot of comments. Well, not comments, but personal messages on why I haven't been uploading a video. It's been about two months since I've actually uploaded a video. The reason is, is because, quite frankly, I can't get in. It will not allow me to log into my account, and I don't know why. I've tried everything from under the sun. It just won't work. So, that really bugs me a lot. So, I just really hate that, because it was a really cool channel. I could upload little... I plan. I actually wrote skits I wanted to do, and I can't. I can film them, but I don't want to post them on this channel because this is for reviews, not skits. And then the episodes of what I bought because I you, I found some crazy. I'm serious. I found the craziest stuff, and I really wanted to show them to you guys, but I just can't. And that just bugs me so much. And I found some. I, I mean, seriously, this stuff is amazing. Absolutely amazing. And I can't show you guys, and it's just, ah, rage attack. It's just one of those things, but um, I will show them to you in this video, because they are just amazing. Absolutely amazing what I found. But, um, yeah, and also, the price I paid for them will also shock you. But, uh, yeah. Also, um, I might actually do a tutorial, because I uh, saw a tutorial on YouTube. It's a good tutorial, but it could be really better. It was on how to make any uh, Marvel Universe Wolverine figure have much better claws, and they were real metal claws too, and it was it was impressive what the guy did. So I might actually do that because I have an extra Wolverine figure. I actually picked up the Marvel Universe Sentinel for 30 bucks at I think a Marshalls. Cause so I have the extra Wolverine, and I might actually do that to that Wolverine. I've been thinking of customizing it by putting an X on the belt and doing a couple other things. So I'm really glad I was able to actually pick that up. And after seeing this tutorial, I can definitely do this custom. And not worry about winning one of my Wolverine figures. Because all of them are different except for that Wolverine. And the Wolverine that came with the giant size X-Men uh, pack. So, yeah, pretty cool. 
I also found Ghost Rider. I finally found Ghost Rider. I've been looking for Ghost Rider for so long, and I finally found him. So, yeah, and I plan to actually make a custom Ghost Rider bike, which will be awesome. So, that's going to be a fun custom. And I still haven't found Marvel Universe Punisher, and I'm still working on my custom piece for him. And, trust me, it is going to be awesome. I got some weapons for it. It's going to be so cool. So, I think that's everything I wanted to talk about. And now I'm just going to show you guys all the cool stuff I bought. So, let me get that. So, the first thing I bought, I bought this for $2. I am so lucky because most people would pay a lot of money for this toy. I mean, a lot of money. Mainly because this one was only released in Japan. Granted, it did have an American version, but you could tell this one's from Japan. Gao... Kong. Okay, Power Rangers Wild Force fans would afford, refer this to, um, I don't know what it was called in America. It was released in America, but here's how you could tell the difference. For one, this was single released, and look at this, this metal bar, this die cast bar, and this uh, nice vac metal with the f chrome phenoms, not released on the American version. Plain old red plastic and a plastic bar. Yeah, I have it. Now, the it does have a lot of paint scratches on the actual chest, and I am missing the anchor because, you know, no anchor. Two dollars, and I got this, and this is phenomenal. And I'm amazed because this is a Japanese toy. So I'm completely and utterly amazed that it would be there for two dollars. Now, I got it at a store called Savers. And it's a good place. I go there for parts on some of the stuff I work on, customs, or just plain old stuff I build. I also go there because I usually find some cool toy items. I found a lot of cool toy items. Like, I found He-Man and Skeletor for, like, two bucks. So I find a lot of cool stuff. But, uh, there you go. I actually found Gal... Uh, I think it was Bison or Bulls, the legs to Animus or Gal God. So, Yeah. Very cool that I found this. I can't believe it too, because out of all of the Megazords, my fate, my second favorite of all time, without a doubt, has to be the Wild Force Megazord, just because of the gimmick and how cool it looks. My favorite Megazord of all time is actually a tie between the Mighty Morphing and the Dino Thunder Megazord. Why? I don't know. Mainly because Dino Thunder is the series that got me into Power Rangers. But there's Gal Kong. Pretty cool. So uh, let me get what else I bought. So the next item is a pretty cool item. This is the Mind Morphing Power Rangers Red Ranger, one of my favorite Rangers from all time. All of time, throughout all the Power Rangers series, this is my favorite Red Ranger. And there have been a lot of cool Red Rangers, like the Red Ranger from Power Rangers Dino Thunder was pretty cool. Uh, Power, the Red Ranger Power Rangers Zeo was awesome because he's Tommy, of course. And Tobo was pretty cool. Even the second Tobo Ranger was pretty cool. So, you know. Even Ninja Storm Red Ranger was awesome. I admit, i just biased because red is my favorite color of all time, so... Yeah. But, the original Mighty Morphin has been my favorite Red Ranger ever since I watched the original series. Now, the series that got me into Power Rangers was actually Dino Thunder, which is why it's my favorite Megazord of all time. However, I watched reruns of every Power Rangers series when I was little. It would come on around 8 o'clock, and on Jet X, who remembers Jet X? Anyway, um, it would come up and it would just these awesome episodes and I was just blown away that there was another Power Rangers series. So, yeah, I watched it a lot and I really liked it. And I gotta admit, it's mainly because the Red Ranger has an awesome T-Rex on his chest. Now, mine is pretty beat up in the chest area and he is missing his blaster. But besides that, it's pretty good. I mean, the chrome's in pretty good shape. The head isn't really damaged. Uh, there is some yellowing on the plastic, but... It's still a phenomenal figure. So, uh, yeah, for three bucks, I cannot resist. Now, the next items, I cannot believe I found these. I mean, my jaw dropped. It hit the floor. And I just grabbed all of them and ran to my dad because these are superheroes from his childhood. These are the heroes that my dad grew up with that you do not see anymore. These heroes are like non-existent today. The web. I already hear my younger viewers saying, WTF, who is the web? 
Well, for those of you who are uneducated, i.e. not born in the 70s, 80s, or 90s, the Web was a popular superhero. That's it. He was kind of like a Batman who knew martial arts, and I don't remember if he had any gadgets. I like him, I'm not gonna lie, he's a pretty cool little figure. He's mint on card, which is next to impossible to find, and this is just so cool. Um, I really like his design. Yellow and green, yeah, I actually like it. I kind of like the web for the belt, the web for the wings. Uh, he does come with a belt with two guns. Now, the whole gimmick of this line was the shield works, if you look to the side, if I can show you. This one's a little difficult to see, and I'll find one that does it better, but it's designed so that not only can the figure hold it, but you could plug it in on your shirt as a little um, badge. And this is awesome now. My dad is a big fan of the web, so he had to get this. I mean... Look at the price, 99 cents. How can you not get this for 99 cents? And this is just amazing. And we have almost the entire collection. We're just missing a couple. Um, only a few that I see. I think we're only missing one, two. Yeah, only two. So, yeah, and apparently the uh, the shields also work as a whistle, which is kind of cool. So, uh, this is the web. And I am going to put these pictures on Twitter. So, don't worry if, you if you're not getting a good view. Go to my Twitter account and you should see them. Also, follow me if you haven't. So, this is the Evil Brain. Uh, pretty cool. Again, you can't really see how the handle's designed. Uh, there's one where you can see it better because it's on this side. Now, the brain comes with two guns. A big gun, a little gun, a pouch, and a shield. And I got them. It's pretty cool. They all have this cool little thing where you squeeze the legs and the arm punches. So, pretty cool. This is the shield. Uh, the shield is a pretty cool character. I definitely like him. Uh, he does have the same accessories as the uh, web. And his shield's pretty cool. Okay, well, he's the shield. He needs a shield. And he's very Captain America esque, so I really like him. Next is the combat. Now, the only problem I had was this one had a lot of yellowing, as you can see on the package. It's not as clear. But besides that, it's pretty good. Uh, he does have the. I think he had heat vision. But he, you can, he has the little visor, the shield, he has the gun and a holster, and you can see, yeah, uh, if I can get a good picture of it, you can see the handle, it's designed so that not only can they hold them, but they can actually use it as a badge, which is pretty cool, and you can see the top has that little whistle thing right there, so, very cool. Next is the evil eraser, and you can see the shield actually does get different, I think the bad guys had, almost all the bad guys had this type of shield. Uh, it does come with a cool gun. Uh, his design's kind of weird, I'm not going to lie, and I do not like the face he is making, but uh, kind of interesting, and I'll show you the back, because I haven't really shown you the back, so there you go. The only one we don't actually have is the fox, and the bat, and the, uh, uh, the stinger, cool, so stinger and fox are sadly the only ones we don't have, but yeah, it kind of sucks. And last but not least is the evil buzzord. Okay, uh, you can see he comes with a kind of cool gun. That reminds me of the one that the Joker had in the Batman movie. Uh, you can see that he's kind of bird and condor design, and I think his mask comes off. Um, that mask totally reminds me of uh, Pizza from Gal Gadot, and also uh, Jay. I think that's his name. Yeah, Jay. And uh, yeah, come on, if you guys are Gal Gadot fans, that totally looks like Pizza. But, uh, yeah, there you go. I really like these old retro figures because they are so cool in their designs. They're just so retro. And I really dig that because that is awesome. So, definitely really like these. I can't believe I picked these up for 99 cents each. I grabbed all of them, ran to my dad, and he and his jaw dropped that he saw these. So, just amazing. I can't believe I actually found these. So, just <laughs> amazing. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this awesome little uh, video. Uh, I'm glad you guys watched it, and hopefully you stuck through the whole thing, because this is definitely a really cool video. So, yeah. Uh, Till then, adios, and stay tuned for some more video reviews. Till then, later.